Okay, so we're looking at starting with a graph and then finding the equation. So here are general forms. Exponential is y equals a times e, for example the base, to the power of n times x minus h plus k. And for the logarithmic general form, it's capital A again times log to the base e of n times x minus h, all enclosed by that bracket, and then plus k. So the asymptotes will give us the k value for the exponential. That's because exponentials have a uh, horizontal asymptote, y equals k. And for logarithms, it's the other way. It'll give you a h value, which is um, from the x equals h asymptote. Okay. Right, so here's an example. We have a logarithmic graph, and they give you the form of the equation, which is very helpful. And they ask you to find capital A, little b, and capital B. Now the first thing you look at is the asymptote, which is x equals negative 1. And that means that you would see the opposite sign of negative 1 inside the bracket here, which means you have a plus 1 there. Now because b and 1 have the same sign, then we just keep it as b equals positive 1. So therefore, we can write this equation with plus 1 instead of b. So we have y equal a log to the base e of x plus 1 plus b. Then we use one of these points. I find it easier to use that point first. So we use 0, 5 in the mix, which means we have 5 equaling a times log to the base e of 0 plus 1 plus b. Then this part here becomes log of 1, which means that this whole thing becomes 0. So therefore you can say 5 equals b. So that means you can start to change this equation into one which has a number at the back here. So you have y equals a log to the base e of x plus 1 plus 5. Right, so we have the equation worked out so far as y equals a log to the base e of x plus 1 plus 5. And we'll use this other point to work out capital A. So when we substitute in x is 2 and y equals 0, that gives us 0, that's y there, equals a log to the base e of x is 2, so we'll make it 2 over here, 2 plus 1 plus 5. Okay. Now we can work this out as 0 equals a log to the base e of 3 plus 5. And since we're trying to solve for a, what we have to do is subtract off 5 first and then divide by log to the base e of 3, or ln really. So we have minus 5 equals a ln of 3, and then we divide by ln of 3. So you get a equals negative 5 over log to the base e of 3. That's the exact version. If we type that into our calculator, you get negative 4.55, and that's correct to two decimal places. So from before, we had the equation y equals a log to the base e of x plus 1 plus 5. And so you can write that in two forms if you use a as the exact form or the approximate version. So here they are both are. You can have y equals negative 5 over natural log or log to base e really of 3 times log to base e of x plus 1 plus 5. And the approximate form is y equals negative 4.55 log to the base e or ln x plus 1 plus 5. Remembering of course that ln is equivalent to log to the base e. And the purists among you will have to have something attached to it so let's make it log to the base a of whatever it is. But that's the more important thing, that's just a notation.